Well, it's up there, Tommy. Oh, plenty of head shaking going on there, anyway, mate. mate. We just pulled up at a bit of a run up the beautiful Barrington coast, which is where we're fishing at the moment. It's a fantastic part of the world. We've had a lot of rain lately, pretty flooded. We've been looking for some green water, a little bit of clean green water. We've managed to find that. We've pulled up and uh, and spot locked her into it. Michael Guest, got Tom Rocha fishing with me today, and we're chasing snapper on soft plastics. And I've got to tell you. Do you want me to get that net, mate? Oh, I reckon you might have to do that, because I think I've, I've come up with one pretty well straight away. Yeah, electronics plays a huge part in what we do, and um, if I had a decent net man, I'd actually have this fish landed at the moment, but That's we, a marked a, <laughs> we marked a heap of bait, and uh, we knew they'd be, be here. This is Tom Rocher, everybody, and uh, it's better late than never. Can you put the net under that stuff? I, I can, mate. I can. <laughs> It's about the most unorganised snapper fishing we've ever done, you and I. But I think so. I got to tell you, that's a that's a great way to start. So I had a couple of choices on what lure I was going to use. So we're talking snapper on soft plastics, and um, I thought I'd go with a paddle stop paddle tail style lure. Let's come out of there. Look at that. That's You're a nice fish, mate. Glorious, Good start. glorious looking fish. Middle of the day, so we're going to spend the afternoon up here at the moment. You can see that's got that big paddle tail, so they. They swim down really, really well. And I actually think when I was looking down, I could see another snapper following this one up. So the main thing is, I've made a big error there, really, because now I've told this bloke, so that means that he's going to cast that way when I should have really kept it to myself. I put an orange-looking uh, bait on, too. I'm going to have to switch colours, I think. <laughs> we're Something talking, a bit more natural. <laughs> we're talking about bait um, or soft plastic or soft bait colours before I actually cast this one out. And I said to Tom, I heard some. We had a great session. Barney, who's on real action a little bit, uh, catching heaps and heaps of snapper on this orange colour. But oh, just, you know, you have colours you don't really go with. Maybe and, not today, mate. And, and Tom's tied one on, and uh, I've gone with the natural. I reckon the natural's doing it at the moment, mate. It's <laughs> first cast, too. I'm changing up. You're changing it up. Just had a bit of a move from out wider, and water's a little bit dirty just here, but there's a colour change right in front of me, so looks really good. Swell's been smashing up against these rocks, and there's plenty of bubbles. So um, we're in the six metre boat today, and it's it's a great one because you can fish the estuary and today, beautiful conditions where we're actually probably 20 miles up the coast offshore. So got the lean seat here, which is absolutely ideal. And Tommy's going to join me in a minute. We're just going to poke along here with the electric motor down, get a couple of bites. We can hit that spot lock, spot lock button, I should say, and concentrate on that area. But Snapper love to be underneath these bubbly sections. And the fact that we've got a colour change here too, so the dirty water meeting the clean water looks really good. Got him. Got you that time, Tommy. Got him on now, mate. Well, got him that time. I only had about five goes of hooking one, <laughs> and I reckon that's a snapper. A little bit of string too, oh, mate. I love it. I love it. We've got a couple of different outfits. This one's a slightly heavier one, so 8 to 15 kilo, but I've got 6 to 10s as well. 6 to 10 kilo outfits. Uh, 4,000 size spin reel, some, uh, some 20 pound braid, and Either 20 or 30 pound leader. I've got 30 pound leader. Just sort of really trying to see if we can't find a really good fish here somewhere. And that paddle tail lure. And actually going to the bright pink in this dirtier water. What a platform this is, eh? How good's the lean seat, mate? I'm just going to kick back. Yeah, just kick back, kick mate. Kick back. I'll, I'll do your net job for you. Oh, here he comes. Oh, I got two. That's a better fish than I thought. Come on, net man. Go, net man. Don't you muck that up, Tommy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. It's, it's jumped out five times. Go. <laughs> got him that time, mate. <laughs> Oh, stay down there, I'll come down. Look at those teeth, Tom. 
Oh, oh, Brady, you stick your finger in there, mate. You, you, oh, I'm not sticking my finger in there. I don't think you can <laughs> see those teeth, but we're talking about those, the big swell that we've got and the aftermath of the big swell at the moment. Those teeth, they use those for crunching up everything on the rocks, don't they? Crabs and urchins, urchins snails. you name it. They get in there and they charge around and get stuck into all that sort of stuff. Did you, you get any bites? No, not yet, mate. I might have to just what? audition for some new members of Real Action that are going to contribute to the fishing. We'll have to change back to the blue one, Hello. I think. So are you blaming the colours? Yeah, absolutely. OK. Definitely not bad. Going to rig another one of these paddle shads up. Unbelievable scent dispersion. That's one of the big things, especially in this dirty water. So we've got the scent dispersion, we've got the paddle tail for the vibration, and we've got that hot pink colour too, which is going to stand out, which I just caught a snapper on. Just like all these soft plastics, have a bit of a look. It's going to come out about there. So I'll put a little mark just in the back so I know where it's going to come out. Line it up dead straight. So start there. So this is a 5.0. Uh, three eighths of an ounce. Normally, I'd probably go quarter or even a little bit lighter in here, but because there's so much surge, just going a little bit heavier, three eighths to get down in there. And I'll tell you, that's rigged, nice and straight, and ready to go. We've got a lefty's loop knot onto some 30 pound vanished fluorocarbon leader there, and uh, the whole outfit is just nice and light, and you can cast it all day. This one's actually a high speed. Um, version of this reel, so what we call a HS high speed, so just a slightly higher retrieve ratio, lets you get that lure back in and fire another cast out, see if I can catch a snapper. Okay. Yeah, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. That's a good one. Better one, guess this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Go down and grab the net, bud. Oh, come on, bud, come on. Oh, I got colour there, Tommy. Go the net, Tommy. Mate, it's just the echo. <laughs> On the white one this side. Go, bud. Go, 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 go. You yes. <laughs> well done. Yeah, so that's on the white one. So I think at the moment it's the scent that's really doing the job, and I really don't think that the colour of the lure is making a huge difference because I caught them on pink ones and bluey coloured ones and then that's on the Y one. Obviously that white's going to stand out really well in that dark water. I know we're in a bit of a dangerous looking spot here but we're, we're keeping an eye on what's going on. Swell's coming in this way for sure. We do not want to end up in there so Tommy's, you got one eye out for me or Absolutely, what? Absolutely mate. Two eyes? <laughs> Always one eye on the job, sometimes two. Yeah that's it. This one's starting to get a hump so you go to New Zealand you catch these big snapper and they don't have any humps at all, slightly different genus. Um, this one's starting to get one as they get bigger you get those big ugly males they've got these huge, well I don't think they're ugly actually. Oh, beautiful. I think they're magnificent Absolutely. looking fish. Yeah big noses, a bit like some people on this show at the moment but Ooh. um this one, this one is starting to get a bit of a hump. And they get that second one sometimes, don't they? Like they that do. Big nose that comes out. But uh, beautiful fish. When you see them diving underwater, you see these beautiful blue dots, and they just look magnificent cruising around. And they're pretty. They're a pretty timid animal, I find. And that's one of the reasons why we're using the electric motor. Quite often, we'd be on the petrol motor and work our way along, but we're in stealth mode. Sun's high. Absolutely. Mate, it's doing the job at the moment. It is. Well, for you anyway. Not for me. Yeah. You had to put one on the board. <laughs> Yep, right there. Got him on there, Gessie? Yeah, I had a couple of bites. They travel in big schools, especially fish, so this is slightly smaller fish. What I'm going to do, I'm going to lift that fish up, but I'm pointing the rod down like that so I don't, I don't break the rod. Lift him straight up, didn't need the net for that one. I've got to tell you, if you're going to eat a snapper, and they are fantastic eating fish, they are a great eating fish. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I know you're not excited about it, but that's probably the size to eat right there. It's what we call a pan-sized fish. And you know what? I might even keep this bloke and uh, I'll bleed him, look after him, put him, on the, put him on the ice and he can go home for dinner. But just goes to show a small fish like that, that's that six inch paddle tail lure is totally disappeared right down his throat. So it just shows you the appetite they got for see even a small fish like that. So um, quite often you've got to scale down in your lure size to catch these smaller fish. But I've got to tell you, that's a six inch lure. And as you can see, there's not much of it left. Oh, 
got him on here, Gasty. Oh, that's a go, mate. That fish was down a little bit deeper. Last couple have come sort of right off the top, but let that sink right down and it's grabbed it off the bottom. Another pan-sized fish. That's swinging in. Oh. That's what they look like. Finally, on the board. <laughs> Hooray. I think the legal size in New South Wales is 30? 30. 30 centimetres, yeah, 30 centimetres. So that one's well and truly over. That'd be about 38 centimetres long. You would be. Pretty pretty fast growing fish, I think, in their early stages, and they slow down pretty well. So a big snap is quite an old fish, and certainly if you catch any big ones, I'm always about letting them go. Spoken about eating them before, but um, those smaller ones are definitely the ones you want to take. It's a little bit, bit bumpy here at the bit moment. bumpy. They're the ones you want to take and let those big breeding ones go. Absolutely, yeah. you know, he's a perfect pan size. Are we going to keep him for a feed, or what do you reckon? Yeah, maybe, possibly. We've got a couple there. If we kept this one, that'd be all right, and then we can certainly look at um, letting those big ones go and, and, and try sure. to step up to that next size. We're getting smaller so far. We want to sort of get a bit bigger. So. I want to be stretched. What yeah. an upgrade, mate. <laughs> an upgrade. We'll try and get an upgrade. Just missed him. Missed him. That's happening pretty good at the All moment. Right, Here we go. We got him. Double? Double. I'll, go, I'll go under. Oh, uh, you're all right. You stay. No, no. You, oh. You're all right. Where are you going? That way? Yeah. <laughs> it's all happening. Double hook up. What we do have at the moment is, uh, is we've got a rising barometer. So uh, that definitely makes a difference. Had a fair bit of low pressure lately, but that pressure is rising right at the moment. And um, tide changes are a key time, but certainly that rising barometer makes a big difference to the way the fish feed and uh, I think I think you might just if, have me if we're it. competing oh, I reckon oh, I might have it's tragic I think you've got me pretty easily I, was rec I reckon I've got him there so he is. you can be the judge at home people at home can be the judge both on the green and orange paddle shed well, if you hold yours right out just goes to show you that schools of snapper like this they they're in different sizes and and the gear that we're using, you could, you'd catch these fish on slightly lighter tackle again, but we're, we're just hoping, you never know, we're just hoping that that next size fish is just around the corner and you've always got to be prepared for that big I've one. Got, I've got a feeling it is, mate, it's coming. Yeah, it's and especially, especially in this sort of country where it's rough and ugly bottom, you look at the sand here, you can see, we're on a little bit of sand here, but just in there, there's all sorts of pinnacles and rocks and the fish are ready to dust you. And that's another reason why we use fluorocarbon leaders. We use everything we can to still get the bite. You've got to fish light to get the bite but you want to give yourself as much chance if you do sort of touch anything underneath. And that's where fluorocarbon's so good because it's a super tough leader. That was good, double hooker. Very good. All right, I'll get the jig head out of this bloke's mouth and we'll let him play and swim off and hopefully I'll, uh, I'll catch him another day. Off you go, buddy. Oh, my dear. But uh, you can see on the sander there at the moment, there's actually snapper underneath us, so it's all good to be casting forward, but Got to keep an eye on the electronics. We've got, got down scan, side scan, and the conventional sounder picture there as well, and just see where those fish are. And we've been actually working our soft plastic right back and getting bites really straight up and down. Getting we? a bite right now, oh, as we speak. Okay, right. Well, watch, well, me, just... watch me not convert it. Oh, no, watch... Don't be like that. You got to have you got to have a bit of faith. You're getting a bite. So just a small snapper, you reckon? Just a small snapper, mate. Right, come on. <sighs> How long have I got to wait for? Is it about to happen? I don't think it is. Can mate. I, I'll just go around the back and I'll, I'll go and <laughs> put another soft plastic on while you keep working at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go, oh, mate. Oh, oh, that's a better one, guess it. That's the go. That's what we've been looking for. Look, we're fishing a beautiful Barrington coast at the moment, and Tommy's got a nice snapper on, but you catch marlin just here, kingfish, cobia at the right time of year. Um, you name it, Mulloway, there's so many options offshore. So you can either come out from down south there at Tea Gardens or 
how to foster a crowdy head. So there's options as far as where, you, where to launch your boat as well. But some of the fishing can be quite spectacular. And uh, like mountains to the sea, we're at the sea part of it. We're not going trout fishing, but I've got to tell you, the snapper fishing's going pretty damn good at the moment. I'm getting stretched at the moment, mate. I'm hanging on for dear life. So finally got a better one, have we, or what? Oh, uh, yeah, he's better than the last one I caught. We'll put it All that right, way. No, that's a go. I'll get the net. All right, bud, sneak him in the net. Yes. All right, that's an upgrade. He's an upgrade. He is an upgrade. Oh, bring him over here. All right, mate, grab all of him. You got him there for me, mate. Yeah, so that one's come out from underneath the tuna. There's all these tuna and bonito. I caught a bonito a, uh, a little bit earlier. Bring him over here, Tommy. So these fish are no doubt schooling underneath. We can see them on the sounder there. And uh, they're schooling underneath and sitting underneath the tuna. The tuna are chopping up the bait fish and they miss a few bits, which is always good. <laughs> and that, that natural burly trail is just fluttering down. And these fellas, as, as you get close to the tide change later in the day, later in the afternoon, they'll come right up really high. And actually in these wash zones at times, you'll get a bite, slap, the lure will hit the top and crash there straight on. So they will come up a long way and I reckon that's what these fish are doing. Marine Rescue New South Wales has more than 3,000 volunteers to help keep you safe on the water. You can log on with your local Marine Rescue base when you're heading out. You can call them back to check your marine radio is working. Best of all, they'll come to your rescue if you break down or worse. It costs a lot to provide this world-class service, so make sure you support your local volunteers whenever you get the chance. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. I'm looking, looking down there with the sun. He's trying to see these fish, and it's quite murky. And he's not. Oh, he's having a bit of a go. This bloke. He's not doing too much. I reckon I can just pole him up there. No net for this one, Tommy. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Oh. And I honestly don't think it matters what colour today. You just have those days where they're on the, where they're absolutely on what we call on the chew. And I reckon that's one of these days. Beautiful sized pan fish, sort of ranging from that, oh, I guess the smaller one's been a kilo and a half up to about that sort of three kilo mark. Yeah, he's somewhere in the middle Just there. great snapper fishing. You know, I know it's all, all good to see a great big one and we hope we might see one at some point. But still time. Yeah, I tell you, this is just, just really good fun. As I said before, be careful. We're pretty safe where we are here, nice deep water. And um, I'm just blown away how good our electric motor is doing here, holding us perfectly straight sneaking along, hitting that spot lock button, parking in the right spot, work in the area until Tommy says, what do you say? Come on, mate. So let's get out of let's here, mate. Let's move it on. Let's move up the wall. Takes too long. <laughs> let's move up the wall a bit further. Oh, dear. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Sound like a better hit, mate. Yes. That's a, you never get sick of this, I've got to tell you. Oh, oh, good fish. Yeah, it is a good one, this one. Great thing about these outfits we're using today, they're so light, you can cast them all day. And snap of soft plastic fishing is not always as consistent as it is today. Sometimes you've got to put a lot of cast in and cover a lot of ground. So you do need an outfit that's, that's nice and light, ergonomic. It's and the cool. a stretch in there, it mate. Is. And the great thing about snapper, they've turned into this fantastic sport fish years ago now. And it, through the fact that there's no stretch in that polyethylene line, you feel every head shake, every bump, and they're such a cool sport fish. You're right, got the net there, bud. I think we've upgraded here. I think we have. I too. think we've upgraded here, Tommy. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Woo! All right, I might, uh, I might join you down on the pavilion deck. <laughs> oh, nice fish, mate. I'll just take the electric controller off. We wanted to show you a, a bigger one. I wanted to catch a bigger one anyway, just for for the fact that I wanted to catch one. So no, I just just so I up. didn't really. Well, no, it's nothing like that. I just wanted to catch one because I love catching them. Can you can you please assist by removing my sunglasses, sir? Absolutely. They're doing a smashingly good job in the sun, but 
I want to get a really good look at him and look at that. Went for the gold and black. We've tried every colour there so far today and we just wanted to extract one of those better fish. I knew they were there. Saw a few marking on the sounder. And uh, I'm going to tell you, that's just awesome. Starting to develop that bump. So very mature fish. I look forward to seeing this bloke swim off and so we can catch him again another day. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alphabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome ocean LED underwater light, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Well, check that out. That is a beautiful snapper out of the bubbles, out of the wash. We've had a fantastic afternoon. Tommy and I are fishing the magnificent Barrington coast. We found a pocket of water in amongst all this flooding that's been going on. It's been a horrific well, a week or two as far as that goes, but as soon as it's calmed off, we've got out and we've done the job and found some beautiful snapper on big soft plastics. I think I might have just touched you up a little bit. I don't want to talk about He's it. He's so competitive, this bloke. I'm not it, competitive mate. at all, but no. Tom is just crazily competitive. <laughs> I tell you, Tom Roche and Michael Gass, you've been watching Real Action. We'll get this bloke back in the water and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if you want more tips, tricks and behind-the-scenes stories, check out the Real Action Fishing Podcast.